Hello guys, uh, my name is Laurent. I'm the co-founder of a tool called Inbox Warmer that helps uh, business emails getting delivered to the inbox and stay out of spam and promotion folder. Um, if you are here today, it's probably because you are wondering about the uh, potential blacklisting and uh, more specifically the UC Protectel uh, tree blacklist. So today we are gonna look uh, together. I'm gonna explain you what the blacklist is. Uh, we are going to look at the problem with that specific blacklist, how to get out of the blacklist, and maybe some other best practices uh, that could potentially help you get your emails delivered uh, straight to the inbox. Um, so let's first talk about blacklist. So what is an email blacklist? So email service providers like Google, Outlook, uh, uh, use email blacklist to uh, identify bad actors. So a blacklist is a bit like a credit score, but for your emails. If your credit score is bad, um, you're going to be recorded in the database and you're not going to be able to get a credit out. So it's going to work uh, the, uh, the same way with an email blacklist. If your IP address or your domain has been recorded on a blacklist, your email are not going to get through uh, the email service providers anymore. So uh, let's look at the problem with the UC Protectel 3 blacklist. Uh, the issue uh, might not just be with your domain, it might just be uh, with the, the server that is sending the emails uh, for your company. So sometimes these uh, servers are shared with other companies, so the bad actor could very much be an other uh, business that is just using the same IP address than yours. Um, the other issue, obviously, on being on one of these blacklists is that it affects your deliverability. So your emails are not getting to your customers, your clients, your potential clients anymore. And um, usually it takes a bit of time to get uh, delisted from this blacklist. So you're going to have to wait uh, several days or sometimes take some uh, measures to get out of them. Um, so let's get straight to the point uh, how to get delisted. So with the UC Protectel 3 blacklist, uh, the good news is that you get automatically delisted after uh, seven days if the spam has stopped. So meaning that like the only reason why you will not get delisted is if, for example, the IP was shared with another actor and that this actor still uh, is spamming people. Um, so obviously in that specific situation, you are not going to get delisted and probably the easiest way uh, to uh, to get delisted then will be just to change your email server. Um, there's another option, which is uh, basically to pay the company that is maintaining the blacklist. So the cost is 89 Swiss francs, uh, which is about 100 US dollars. Um, if you pay, you will uh, be able to get uh, delisted uh, straight away. Um, so obviously, uh, I'm going to show you quickly how to uh, how to figure out if you're on the blacklist and how to uh, pay for it if that's what something you want if you are in a rush and you don't want to wait the seven days so in order to uh, basically find your IP address you are gonna have to look at your email headers so I'm just gonna show you an example here to find your email headers you can just click on the send uh, folder to click on any emails um, then depending on your provider, so now we use Google, but uh, on most providers it will be the same process. You will have like uh, three dots uh, on the upper right corner of your email and you will be able to show the original or to view source or something uh, of this fashion. Then you just have to look uh, to open this uh, original message and uh, usually in uh, received you will see an IP address which is basically like a phone number separated by a dot. So all you have to do is to copy uh, this address, this IP address, and then to go on the UC Protect website and to uh, test. And if uh, you are listed on this uh, blacklist, then you are going to have an option here to uh, basically uh, fill out your details and pay the required fee to delist your uh, company. Something else that can be uh, good is if you're not sure about what blacklist you're on, you can, for example, go on blacklistchecker.com 
and just uh, copy paste the same uh, IP address and also it will basically scan for like all the potential blacklists. There's more than 100 of them uh, and see if you uh, your company is on any of them. Um, obviously, like there's a few things that you can do to improve your email deliverability and prevent you from ever being on a blacklist again. Um, namely, one of the best ways to uh, improve your email deliverability is to uh, use an email warmer tool like Inbox Warmer, which is the tool that we provide. Um, so what it does, it's going to simulate human interactions. And if your emails land into spam, it will take them out of the spam folder and it will simulate positive interactions like replies, uh, like marking your emails as, as important and it's going to gradually increase the sending volumes and build your email reputation, which is like your credit score for email service providers. Uh, skipping the warm-up could obviously like uh, damage your deliverability, so I highly recommend that you uh, try it out uh, and see the results for yourself. Um, so obviously you can look and monitor all the potential uh, blacklist with uh, for example blacklistchecker.com you can say you can subscribe to their service and also uh, just monitor on a regular basis that uh, your email is not uh, blacklisted and you can monitor with your email uh, sending tool uh, for example sending blue or mailchimp uh, the open rates and uh, all the other important metrics that will allow you to know if uh, your emails are getting through to your customers or not. Um, obviously, uh, the best way to avoid being blacklisted is also to provide quality content to your potential clients or your existing clients, uh, to avoid spam trigger words, to personalize the content for your audience, and to avoid the uh, scammy subject lines. Um, another... Da, da, da. To conclude, um, I will just advise that uh, you stay in control uh, of your email marketing strategy, uh, that you take a strategic approach rather than just blasting out emails, uh, invest in the best practices and keep control of your, your, your email reputation, uh, use a warm-up tool and uh, keep it professional. Uh, don't hesitate to uh, get the help from email deliverability experts. If you go on our website, we are available in the chat if you have any questions and you can find the step-by-step -step tutorial in uh, the blog article that will be in the links below. Uh, thank you very much and see you soon.